Hey, what's up guys? Lucius T here. Now, gonna get back to normal programming. I want to thank everyone for tuning in to the 25 days of Lucius. 25 videos in 27 days was not easy, but I hope you guys liked it. I'm planning on doing that every year. Not sure which Christmas movie I'm gonna do next year, so if you have suggestions, uh, bring them on out. So for this week, I had originally planned all these Christmas themed videos all December, and of course, I kind of did something else. So I wanted to still do one of those this week, so I'm sure you can guess which game it is. It is the title, but this is a game that I, I was just, I found out about this title, and I just, I had to play it. So hopefully you enjoy it, and let's check it out. <laughs> That's right, get your Santa jollies on. We're talking about Days Before Christmas, baby! Days Before Christmas. The um, little known about PAL release Super NES game. It's made by Sunsoft. Apparently there was supposed to be a US release, but it got cancelled. And honestly, we didn't miss out on much. If not for the fact that Santa Claus is slapped into this, wonder what's in that present. It wouldn't be much of a game at all. Huh. It's a bomb. What the hell are we packing these days? You have the, you know, some blasé storyline, which I will dramatically read for you right now. Only days before Christmas, Santa slept in his house. An evil plot was brewing, cooked up by an awful louse. The cold and evil snowmen scared all the elves away. Timekeeper stole plans from Santa's house that day. But for the vicious louse, this wasn't bad enough. I'm really gonna show him. I'm gonna play Woof. He tore the presents open and on them cast a spell. That's when Santa woke up. Something wasn't well. Damn. What a guy. So, you start the game and they give you a kind of a... Um, Advent calendar, whatever the hell you call it, one of those, the, one of those calendars, so you can see all the different levels you have. It, it's all right. So each level is, um, you know, it can be as short as ten steps. It can be long. It can be arduous. I accidentally put the difficulty setting on easy, so I was just gonna go off on how this is one of the easiest games I've ever played. But then when I uh, checked afterwards and looked at the footage, I did accidentally put it on easy mode. So. I don't know if the game is that easy. I really don't want to go back and play any more of it. Well, at least it's better than those Bible games. Each level is its own little platforming segment. One of the best parts of the game is before every level, they give you a cool little cartoony Santa doing whatever he is about to do in the level. And at first you think that the game is going to be ex extraordinarily varied because every level has different music, every level has a different background theme. But once you get past around day 10, then you start seeing things get recycled. You can get a pot of coffee. I wonder or... if I should save everyone. Well, not before my coffee. <laughs> you can eat something and it'll turn you into the anti claws, which makes the music turn all evil sounding. And then you can't collect presents or shoot magic, but you can swing your sack. Yeah. You can swing your sack around and hit people and kill them and it makes you invincible, but it only lasts about 10 seconds, so it really, it, it, it wasn't really worth even having in the game. Uh, there was an interesting mechanic where you could climb up stuff, they introduce it in the first level, and then you never see it again until level 14. They give us one time to get on that freaking pole, and now suddenly I am an expert at grabbing onto ledges. What the hell? And swinging over them Prince of Persia style. This game is great. And when it shows up, you need to know how to use it perfectly. So the balance in the game is not great. The platforming is decent. It's not the worst platforming in the world. The camera always stays focused on you in the middle of the screen, so it can make platforming difficult because you have a lot of leaps of faith and if you don't realize if, if pretty much you can just run through the levels at points and you'll suddenly die because Santa can't swim or Santa can't get through a chasm you can shoot magic 
The magic you shoot is pretty much a one-hit kill on everything. Then again, I played on easy mode, but I'm gonna stop mentioning that. So one-hit kills everything. In a few levels, you can upgrade it to some firepower, which will make you melt stuff. You can free reindeer. You get uh, Santa hats or your life meter. There's a password system, so I didn't actually run out of lives. I was able to beat it in two hours. I started yesterday at 10 p.m. I finished the game around 11.47. So it's not a long game. There's maybe four boss fights, and then after each boss fight, for the most part, they give you a little mini game where you fly around and you drop presents into houses. That was pretty cool. It was nice they threw in a different play style. I like how close that uh, New York and San Francisco are. Very realistic game. I love it. And the boss fights are pretty much one hit gimmicks. Um, it's funny, you can watch me here on the snowman fight. You can actually see me figure out that it's he can't hit you at all. And you, you can just stand there and then and watch, watch. Yeah, you're gonna stand there and then you can kill him and that's it. But it's just, I mean, it's, it's Santa Claus in a platformer on the Super NES. That alone makes it worth getting. Uh, as far as replay value goes, other than seeing what the different difficulties like, I probably won't be picking it up again. And to be honest, I've never heard any anyone ever talking about this. And of course, I was gonna do this video earlier, but I did the 25 Days of Lucius, and now Game Grumps has done a video on it that came out yesterday. So hey, hey, piggybacking! I guess I was on to something. Oh well, I'll get to something first one of these days. But as far as the game goes, as far as recommending it, I think on the scale of skip it, emulate it, or repro it, this game's not worth reproing unless you're some huge Christmas guy. Definitely emulate it. You'll get your fix. You get the idea. The music is all right, serviceable. The graphics are cool. It's it's a nice looking Super NES game, but it just it feels cheap, and it feels like it could have been so much more. So the fact that we didn't get it, no big deal. I, I'm glad I have it. It's it's. It's fun to just have a Christmas themed game where you play as Santa Claus and as far as the rating goes though it's not a very good game. I'd probably give it a 5. So yeah, emulate it. That's your homework. There you have it! Days before Christmas! I don't know if I'd uh... Nah. If you, if you need a Christmas game in your library, there you go. So. Another thing I wanted to do is, uh, this will be the end of my first year, I guess you'll say, on YouTube. It hasn't been a full year, but just 2015 is over. And my year-end goal for my first year here was going to be to hit 250 subscribers. And I'll admit it, I didn't think I was going to hit it, but I owe a huge thank you to my pal Benevolent Dick. Gave me a great shout-out, and I woke up Christmas morning, and BAM! Not only was I above 250, I'm now at 260. So, thank you so much, man. I appreciate the support. I love your arcade stuff. It's ridiculous. And here's to getting even bigger next year. So, thanks for watching, guys. And, hey, if you like me, you know what to do.